Let's unbox my haul from Japan. Okay, so I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put this on the floor because there's no way this camera setup is sufficient for a box this size. It's been about three months since I traveled to Japan. So at this point I've completely forgotten what I've bought. So this really is gonna be a sort of a mutual exciting experience. Let's start with whatever this is. Now I actually remember the store that I bought this in. I probably am gonna remember the stores that I bought most of the stuff in. I'm not gonna be able to show you every single time I bought something, but I will show you this one because it was a cool moment. But if you haven't already checked out the Japan vlogs, then I urge that you watch the playlist. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can go ahead and watch where I found all of this cool stuff and where I bought it all from. So this is a Japanese pocket printer. Let's have a quick look inside here. So there's a little bit of bubble wrap and then we have the manual, which is filled with Japanese artwork, which is just terrific. I mean, look at this. They've turned the Game Boy printer into a little person. So what this thing does is it hooked up to the Game Boy. There was a few games like Link's Awakening that you could actually print things off of the game, like Link's Awakening DX. Um, and then also you could print off your photos from the Game Boy camera. So that's it. It didn't come with any printer paper or a link cable, which I think is the things that it's supposed to come with, but there we have it. A lovely little thing to go on the shelf. Next up. Now, this was something that I just saw in a convenience store. In Japan, I believe they're called Kombini. Kombini, it was either like a 7-Eleven or a Lawson's or something like that. This is a magazine. How cool is this? A Japanese magazine about fashion and food and umbrellas. And then the, there's this whole section about the Mega Drive and retro tech. How awesome is that? And then the coolest part about it, I mean, that is just such a cool magazine. Seriously, very pleased with that. The coolest part about it is this little thing, a Mega Drive leather bag. And what's really awesome about this is it even has an actual little zip pocket on the top for little things like your keys, your wallet, some notes, some coins, whatever it may be. And then there's a whole little, it's just, it's just the cutest little thing. It could be like a little, little lunchbox or something like that. So the next thing is this, a packet or a tin rather of biscuits. And what a lovely tin at that. So we got this from the Nintendo World Store, Nintendo Store rather in um, Osaka, uh, which was a really, really cool shop. I did a whole vlog about that. So go ahead and check that out. Again, the link to the, all the vlogs will be in the description, but this was a little tin that I bought. We also bought something else from the Nintendo Store. So we'll find that in a minute. But this is something that I had to get. Right, so I finally built it, and it's just this little sort of alligator type thing, and the idea is you press down the teeth, and you try not to get bit. Ah! Next thing, this one is quite juicy. Now I actually got this in the same shop that I bought the pocket printer from. Now I had to buy this, I just absolutely had to buy this. I'm gonna do a proper unboxing video of this separately on the second channel, but this is a Sony PSP, and I know it's in Japanese, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to change the language into English. This is a boxed PSP value pack. So this came with a pouch and headphones and lanyards and and a PSP of course, and this is just in absolutely pristine condition. So let's do a few little accessories. This is a Nintendo branded, like an actual Nintendo DS branded cleaning cloth, which is just something I find cool. I don't think many other people are gonna find that cool, but look, it's a microfiber cloth with a, with a DS logo on it. Why did I buy this? And then I bought this and I thought this was cool. So this was only 1,100 yen, which is probably about $10 or so. How cool is that? It's a little dock and I've got a white new Nintendo 3DS and this is gonna be a great way to just display it. You plug it in at the bottom like that, the cable goes through there and it charges with these two little pincer prong things that stick up. I always wondered what that was for. Okay, that is seriously cool. Now the next thing looks like a Nintendo Wii remote and it does really, really, look, it looks identical and that is because it is. No, it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a remote control for the TV. And this was a Club Nintendo prize. I'm not sure if this was released anywhere else in the world, but this is a Japanese Nintendo Wii IR 
TV remote and it was 2,000 yen. Speaking of Club Nintendo, this is another Club Nintendo thing and I've always loved Animal Crossing and this right here is a Nintendo DS Lite stylus and cartridge holder. I don't know why it's got like little writing in there but that's kind of cool, I kind of love that. And then it's got this rainbow stylus arrangement here and it just looks so beautiful all whilst being enclosed in this lovely Animal Crossing little box from 2005 and it has a golden Club Nintendo logo. That was 330 yen, which is like not even two dollars. I mean, Japan, it's just, it's, oh, it's just so cool. Now this was also 330 yen and this is another little thing that is quite cool to have boxed. This is a GameCube Game Boy Advance cable. So this was so that you could use your Game Boy Advance as the remote controller for the Game Boy player, which is really cool. I also think it maybe interacted with some games and it would sort of like put the game down onto the Game Boy and you did a little mini game on there. Not sure what games specifically did that, but that is a very cool little thing to have. And again, for two, two or three dollars, just such a cool thing to have boxed. Now let's take a look at a couple of weird controllers. So this one right here is a nunchuck and this was 330 yen, which as I've already said is only a couple of dollars. And this is just a tiny little nubby nunchuck thing for the Wii, which I, I don't know why I bought this to be honest with you. I just love how much of a little sort of stumpy, nubby like thing that is. And then this is worth quite a decent amount of money for a controller. Speaking of nubby, I mean, look at, look at that. That is the, the absolute king of the nubs. I don't know if nub is a bad word. It's just a tiny little stumpy controller. It has gone a little bit yellow, but it's got Pingu on the top and it, and it doesn't even, doesn't, they don't even do anything. They're just there for design. And then it's just this little miniature PlayStation 1 controller. I know this is gonna be annoying because everybody wants to see everything right now, but for, for literal career reasons, I cannot just unbox it all. I'm gonna do the unboxing of these on the second channel, but this is a pack, two packs of mystery Game Boy games. And I just, I just love the sound of that. I mean, look, we've got Space Invaders, we've got some sort of Kirby game. This is gonna be sick. Now here's another thing we bought from the Nintendo store in Osaka. These are some sort of like sort of card things that hold other cards. They're collectible disc system Nintendo card holders. I'm not exactly sure what the card it holds is. I mean, that says an IC card, which was their like rail card. So maybe it literally just holds like that. Maybe it's just, you could use it for an Oyster card or any sort of, any, any card. Now this is something I bought on like day one. I think this was a day one purchase. So this right here is a game that you plug your Nintendo DS into. In fact, you know what? Now's a good time to just get this DS out. This was a DS that I paid 1,100 yen for, which again, less than $10. Look at the condition of this Nintendo DS. This is a blue Nintendo DS Lite. It looks like it's never been used before. There's something in here. Oh yeah, look, 1,000, wait, for some reason it was in a bag that says 1,100 yen, but it says 1,650 yen, but either way, that's still like 10 or $11. Look at the condition of this. It's absolutely pristine. But the thing is, what this does is it plugs into the bottom like that, so then you have a literal laser coming out the bottom like you have on a mouse, props it up, and you in you play the game whilst interacting with the DS like this. You can kind of see it on the screen there. The idea is that you move this little thing around and dodge stuff, and what an awesome game. Only seems to have been released in Japan. Now here is something else. I got a little bit excited about the idea of Game Boy cameras because I just want to see what the photos are on here, on all of these. I mean, these are all Japanese Game Boy cameras. No idea what I paid for each one. I don't remember them being that expensive, but on eBay and on like Yahoo auctions, they fetched like 10 or $15 each. So really, really cool. Very happy to have had all of these. Now here's another cool thing. This is a Nintendo Wii remote case. 
what I mean it was 300 yen so at some point I'm gonna have to do a weird Wii accessories video it's even got like a little belt hoop thing at the back of it I kind of now want to just always have that on me and go around stores and turn off their TVs here's another accessory for the Nintendo Wii the reason why I bought it is because the box here for the LAN cable looks like a mini power adapter from the Wii I don't know why I bought that actually but it's just that just seems kind of cool to me here's some more stuff this is a bunch of DS accessories a Nintendo DSi re retractable stylus. This was like a $1 or something like that. The DSi did not have a retractable stylus or an extendable stylus, so now I have that, and that's kind of cool. I've got bigger hands now, I'm not a kid anymore. And then I also, another one, except for the Wii U. So these are a couple more styluses, again from Club Nintendo, and they're just so nice. I just think I'm gonna put them in like a pen pot on my desk. And also, another DS stylus, this is an actual clicky pen, but it's a DS stylus. And then the last thing that I have here is a tiny little chocolate DS cartridge holder. It's, it's, only, it's only two of them, and they're just literally like a little rubber silicon mold that on one side looks like some chocolate, and then on the other side you just pop a DS cartridge in. Right, now here is a strange thing. It's a Game Boy Advance adapter for the GameCube, but it's aftermarket. I don't know why I bought that. And this right here is two little silicon covers for the CD slot, the disc slot on a Nintendo Wii. Is that even needed? Now I've actually been after one of these for years. I remember seeing this as a kid. This was 880 yen. That is a golden Wii uh, steering wheel. So sick. Just such a beautiful box as well with Mario and Luigi there sat in invisible carts and you can see the shadows of the carts but not the carts. Such a cool box. That is going on the shelf for sure. These are all of the faulty consoles I bought whilst in Japan. Obviously some of them might not be faulty but they were all kind of sold as junk. There are so many. Let's quickly go through some. This one right here is a DMG and I, I refused to pay more than sort of like five to fifteen dollars on one of these faulty Game Boys because I can get them cheaper on Yahoo auctions. This one looks in pretty good condition, slightly yellowed. Here's another couple of DMGs as well, again in rather good condition. They've just been well looked after but also well used, but there's no sort of damage to them, it's just use. Now this was a small little microphone thing that I found, 1650 yen. It's in a cassette box and that's because it was for like the cassette corders, you know the cassette recorder things, but it's this beautiful little condenser microphone by Sony. It's such a lovely little thing, I've never seen it before. And then this is another very beautiful DS. Now it's slightly different to this one. It's a lighter blue color and it's also got this black trim at the top rather than all being blue. But look at that. I mean, it's not in bad condition at all. And that was 1,100 yen for a Nintendo DS Lite that will definitely work. It might need screens replaced, but it will absolutely work. I mean, there it is turning on right now. And no, the screens are nice and white and beautiful. That is crisp. Ooh, oh, this is actually, this is not a Game Boy. This is a beautiful Sony Walkman. I completely forgot about this. Look at this Walkman. <laughs> oh my days. How stunning is that? It's definitely gonna need new belts. In fact, I think I remember buying a battery for this to see if it worked and it needs a new belt, but it did spin up and stuff, so that's just a sign that it needs a new belt. But look at the condition of that. It's absolutely immaculate. And it comes with this awesome little case as well. And the case even has a little Sony badge which matches the color of the Walkman. Oh, retro tech, it's just lovely. And here, is another Game Boy. This is a black Play It Loud DMG Game Boy. Again, in need of a little restoration, but it's not in too bad condition. It's just got some slight damage on the screen, but that is gonna make a fine Game Boy. In addition to my collection, I, 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 I don't think I've got a black one in this good condition, so this is gonna probably replace the current one that I've got. And let's see what I bought in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember buying these. These are a couple of faulty Game Boy Pockets, damaged screen, but this is the Japanese exclusive DMG style Game Boy Pocket. And the fact that I bought one of those in Japan is just epic. I can't even believe I got the opportunity to go to Japan. Now this is the first Game Boy Pocket that I bought. I showed this off in my recent video and I also bought this Game Boy camera with it. Although, that's a cool look, isn't it? 
Oh, damn. That's a really cool look. So yeah, this is the first Game Boy Pocket that I bought in Japan. Desperately needs a restoration. Obviously, it's got a massive burn in the middle of the LCD screen, but it's gonna be absolutely fine. Don't worry, little buddy, I've got you. Now, there's a couple more Game Boys in here. Obviously, I bought mostly Game Boys, but there's a couple of non-Game Boy things over here. A Game Boy Color and a Game Boy Pocket. This one was 1,100 yen, and I'm not sure what this one was. It doesn't have the price on it, but this, I think, is one of the few Game Boy Colors that I bought while I was over there, but it's in absolutely lovely condition. Seriously lovely condition. So this is a blue PSP. Now, I kept seeing these around Japan, and I had to try and find one, and eventually I did. Again, it hasn't got a price on it. Not sure what I paid, but it wouldn't have been very much at all. It looks in absolutely mint condition. No idea if it works. Absolutely no idea at all. We have a couple of green Nintendo DSi's. These were actually a color that I didn't even know they made in a DSi, so I had to get one. 880 yen, probably a similar price for this one. Hopefully one of them will work. Absolutely no idea, but we'll look at them in another video. And then I've also bought a black Game Boy Advance, which is absolutely stunning. Not in too bad condition at all. It needs a new screen lens, and it needs a new screen, and it needs a battery cover, but generally speaking, that's in rather good condition. And then uh, I think that's pretty much it besides this. Now, the first thing to look at is the lovely pink pouch, a seriously cool little thing, in really, really nice condition. It's got a belt holder as well, which is just quality. Opening it up inside, Da, 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 a Pokemon Center Game Boy Color. Now, I must confess, I did not buy this in Japan. Uh, I actually bought this on Sendico, and I just picked it up whilst I was in the warehouse. But yeah, it works absolutely perfectly. It's a stunning Game Boy. It's in really, really, really nice condition. Now, these two things, I don't know how I got these for so cheap. These are just mega mega, mega cool, and also Mega Drive. These are two Sonic promotional VHS tapes. I mean, 550 yen each. Look at that thing. Oh God, it's just so gorgeous. I really hope it works. Like, it, you can get like rot on VHS tapes and stuff like that. Hopefully it works. Where do I even put them? And to segue on from that, I actually have a VHS player that I bought whilst in Japan. Now this does not work. These are super expensive and super desirable and it doesn't work. So I'm definitely gonna have to make a fix it video on it. This right here is a Pokemon VHS player. Look at that. Just entertain this for a second. Imagine a nice CRT with this right next to it and an N64 Pikachu edition as well. What a beautiful setup that would be. I mean, look at this thing, it's just fantastic. It does turn on, but it doesn't do anything else. So potentially it's the, uh, it's the belt or something like that. But either way, it's in really good condition. There's no damage to it. So I'm really excited to open this up and get this thing working. So here's a couple more things. This is another Club Nintendo item. Yep, there we have it up there. And this is a bunch of lanyards for the uh, for the for the wrist for the Wii for the Wii remote wrist strap thing. Look at those new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Look at all of these colours, and they've got the little characters down at the bottom. What and the holes to see through it. That is just so sick. Absolutely amazing. And that was one thousand yen, one thousand one hundred yen. And this is an Animal Crossing. GameCube. This is actually the game which came with... Oh, that reminds me. That's what these accessories are for. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It was here somewhere. There it is. That is what these are for. It was so that you could do stuff in Animal Crossing as well on the GameCube. So that's really cool. Uh, hopefully it's going to have the actual cards inside here. Not sure. We'll have to check it out on a second channel video. But yeah, that is the... Uh, not no mori or don't don't be no more i don't know how you say it in japanese but um yeah animal crossing for the gamecube with the e-reader and hopefully some cards so cool this thing is kind of disintegrating in my hands but it's the pack and pocket water resistant Game Boy pocket case now here is one very very cool holy grail of a japanese game boy this is the midnight blue toys r us game boy advance and i found this for an absolute steal. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I did actually mention it in the vlog, so check out the playlist and find that part and comment it down below. How much did I pay for this? 
I just love how like photoshopped, how bad that looks like paint.net. It looks like something my school would have on a poster when I was a kid. Happy 10th happy birthday Toys R Us. And it's just, it's just, it's just such a jumble. And it doesn't wrap the whole way around and there's nothing else about Toys R Us on it. It's so funny though. There's no Toys R Us logo on the Game Boy either, but that is a beautiful condition Game Boy Advance right there. And the box is nearly empty. Here's a quick lanyard that was for the pack and pocket and a small origami crane. And here's a hard off uh, guitar strap, which is sick. I'm gonna put that on my guitar immediately. This was a weird like PlayStation controller thing. I don't know why I bought this to be honest with you. I thought maybe it was rare and then I saw them all over Japan. 330 yen, big buttons. Something to do with kids station. Makes me wanna wash my hands. And then nearly finally, there is actually one more thing in here. There's one more thing in here, I completely forgot about it. It's the Hanshin Tigers PlayStation 2 memory card thing. I don't know why I bought this as well because I saw multiple of these later on in the trip but Hanshin Tigers made like a limited edition Neo Geo and I maybe like a Neo Geo Pocket and I thought maybe that was going to be a limited edition thing too. It wasn't. I saw them all over the place. And then this little thing is the last thing we're looking at. It's a can which is also a film camera. There we have it. The Japanese haul. What is your favorite item? Please comment down below. What's your favorite item? What do you want to see first? I am like, baffled by the, ama the amount of stuff that I bought. Maybe people were expecting me to spend even more money, but if I didn't find a bargain, I wasn't going to rush to buy it. Yahoo Auctions is still probably the best place to actually buy stuff. And you can use Sendico to pick up all of that stuff. They're a proxy service. They translate all of the Japanese sites and allow you to buy all of these cool things. They ship it into their warehouse so you can buy as many things as you want and they'll put it in one big box and ship it right to your door. Check out Sendico in the link in the description. Please watch the Japanese vlogs. I'll leave the link to the playlist in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching everybody. This has been a 53 minute unboxing so I'm hot and sweaty right now but that's it the unboxing there it is what do you think damn